Most grocery stores have a ton of empty shelves, but for Oliver's in Prospect, Connecticut, bare shelves seem to be the least of their worries. But some items are still difficult to restock, as head cashier Matthew Hicks points out. A lot of people are attacking items that you know we just can't supply. I haven't had a situation where we just like we couldn't supply something because uh, there's just such a high demand for it. What are some things you can't supply? Um. Well, it's. It's primarily the paper goods, the paper products. Here at the Le Bon Supermarket in Prospect, Connecticut, one of the biggest changes for people is the delivery option for groceries. And that's all being done by the trusted minivan. Yeah, I literally just bought a van last Friday and we're doing anywhere in our stores from 20 to 50 deliveries and pickups a day. Bob LeBon, who is the CEO of LeBons, uses a standard minivan to deliver his groceries to customers, an option that is available to customers because of the coronavirus and will continue to be available once things get back to normal. In order to run a new form of business, however, longer hours are needed from employers, which could affect the morale of the workplace. Most people are yeah, obviously stressed out because of the amount of people that are in here. Um, and the amount of extra work they've been having to do, but yeah, I mean, obviously we, we're getting compensated um, by our employer, so. Many other grocery stores, including restaurants, are offering curbside pickup for food and an online delivery option. While some stores are suffering from the pandemic, others are adapting and expanding their brand. Live from Prospect, I'm Chris Lout, NCC News.